try to help my team every single night. So yeah, I want to um, honestly play better, um, more consistent. But we got a situation that's right now we're one game away from winning the second championship. Um, I have personally have 48 minutes to do what I need to do to help my team win. So right now you kind of get lost in that. But at the end of the day, if I'm sitting here on you know, tomorrow night with another trophy and Celebrate with my teammates. We can talk all day. Same corner pressure. How is that? What is the bigger picture? Let's just win, win this series. It's kind of natural, just because I got sort of same answer. It's kind of I know how I how I help my team, you know, win and how to execute our game plan and, and the spots that I'm in. Know, get my shots and where I can be aggressive and whatnot. It's not so much a back and forth. All right, I'm taking you one on one. You're taking me one on one kind of deal. Um, and so I, I don't get wrapped up in that at all. But you know, I want to play my best. And if I don't, then I'm frustrated. And I understand I need to you know, figure that out. And, and that's really all I'm worried about. So um, you know, Kyrie and LeBron had an amazing game. Game five, do what they're supposed to do to help their team you know, stay alive. Story should hopefully be different. Game six. John Stanley. Um, or do you anticipate you guys starting small tomorrow, or at least playing small majority of the game? The numbers say you guys are at your best with Draymond playing center in this series. Do you guys feel that? Um, do, you, do you feel like that's 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 your best road to to winning tomorrow? I haven't talked to Coach much. We just kind of understood the, the situation uh, the last you know, 12, 24 hours. So um, that will be a decision Coach has to make, how we're going to start. And, you know, you be able to go small and have um, the ability to kind of kick the pace up a little bit. Um, it usually works to our advantage. But I think it works because of the other lines that we can throw out there and have that versatility throughout the course of 48 minutes. So uh, we'll see how the how the rotations go and how we start. But at the end of the day, whoever's out there has to execute better than we did in game five in order to win another championship. Mark and luck. Draymond was just outside telling us that he, he was a terrible teammate, that you guys would have won game five if he was in the lineup. What do you want him to know you know, when he thinks of himself as a terrible teammate and will cost you a game at this time of year. We've already talked to him, or I personally have, like, yeah, it was in an ideal situation um, to not have him out there, and hopefully he's not put in that situation again where he's uh, putting his playing stats in jeopardy. But um, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a team game, and we had an opportunity to go out championship and it would have been the ultimate video montage to see him running across from the, uh, the baseball stadium the camera following him into the door you know, that was like the dream celebration but it didn't happen so uh, missed opportunity there um, but I think there's, there's, there's a game six and he's going to be available and we're going to have another opportunity to win a championship so nobody will remember this down the road to get this done uh, tomorrow or yeah, tomorrow night. So that's really all, like, all we need to talk about. Are you concerned that he might have a lot in his head about how he has to dial some of himself down and some of himself up to avoid any further incidents in this situation? Uh, I think he's going to play with that same aggression, that same passion, leave it all on the floor, but be smart. I think he can do that without having to take a piece of himself away from, from what he does on the floor and who he is uh, as a basketball player and a competitor and whatnot. So uh, he won't get baited into any kind of altercations. He won't, I'm pretty sure he'll be talkative, but hopefully in a very constructive kind of way. So uh, that'll be good. Film session from last game this morning. What, what do you do when you? You see, you, you had some open threes in the last game. What do you think when you see yourself get that shot and miss that shot a few times in a pretty key spot last game? I don't really worry about the shots that I missed. Um, no 
knows her, knows the one she lived with. You live with her, so you don't really want to go back and analyze. Oh, you know, uh, I got over that. Why did I miss it? Or what's the feet? And not square to the basket, and not hold my father through whatever. And I don't really worry about that. Cause those shots will come. And if I keep the confidence, I'll hopefully knock them down the next game. The stuff that kind of bothered me the most is there's on the offensive end in certain possessions where we had the right reads and the right looks. The passes got deflected because they were a little, a little lazy, or we didn't have the Christmas to what we were doing. Um, that's the, that was a situation where you feel like you had missed opportunities, open shots, make, make you miss them. It doesn't really bother me that much. But the other stuff that takes us out of the rhythm of our offense, um, that I control most of it, is, is the frustrating part. So that was the most glaring thing that we saw in the film. And, Sure that up. And defensively, would you say the things you not love about that game when you look back on the film? Breakdowns, uh, communicating on, on switches and, and transition, finding you know, our matchups, and certain details of the fundamentals of just body position, of, you know, defending guys one on one in space, and getting too many angles to the basket where we put our, our help defense in, in a bad spot with straight line drops to the basket and, and, and whatnot. And it, it might be overblown a little bit because they made so many tough shots, but if you have guys that are hot and you give them uh, those three or five possessions where you have breakdowns as well, it just makes things worse. So you gotta, uh, gotta fix them. Thanks, Tom.